Yes, Father. Amen. We're going to move right into the Word of God, the 25th chapter of the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter number 25. Verse number 1. Brother Keith, if you'll begin reading there, please. said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in, and, and with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. That's good. Verse number 6 says, And at midnight there was a cry made. We'd like to speak for a few moments in the question form. What will you do with the midnight cry? What will you do with the midnight cry? There are so many truths that we could unpack yes. here yes. in this 25th of chapter of Matthew and really Matthew 24. You go back to some of the more prophetic elements of Jesus' ministry. Yes. And certainly there's many applications that we can make from this and we'll try to draw a few tonight. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven was likened unto ten virgins yes. which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Virgins represent to us the church, right? or at least the church initially is presented as a virgin, yes. a pure, Innocent. holy, Amen. chaste bride. Yes. Christ is not coming back to marry the church. He's already married right. to the church. The church has produced children. Right. And the church is not a harlot, and Christ is not a fornicator. Right. So when we are talking about the presentation of the bride at the end of the world, we are talking about the presentation of Christ's wife to the Father. Right. In which is in accordance with what we would see in the Hebrew custom, and we'll touch on that a little bit. Amen. Second Corinthians 11.2 says, Paul said, I am jealous over you with a godly jealousy, Amen. for I have espoused you to one husband, to one husband Amen. that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Amen. The church is pure, yes. chaste, and faithful only to Christ. Amen. What in reality makes a harlot a harlot is that she's not husbanded. Mm -hmm. She refused to come under the authority of right. a husband. She refuses to take vows. Yet she wants to enjoy the benefits that come mm. with a marital relationship right. without taking vows. The church reveres, respects, and obeys her husband. Amen. The church is subject unto Christ. Yes. Sir. 
Paul likens it in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, to a marriage. Yes, he does. The wife is to reverence her husband. Mm -hmm. She's to be subject, submissive to her husband. She is to obey her husband. What a thought for some. <laughs> but that's what the Word says. Amen. And as much as we would maybe frown upon that, by standards of today's modern society, I don't think we would frown at the idea that the church is to obey Christ. Amen. Or that the church is to be submissive to Christ. That's right. Or that the church is subject completely and entirely to Christ oh, yes. because he is the head Amen. of the church as the husband he sure is. is the head of the home. Amen. The husband is the head of of the home, and we're not going to preach on marriage today, but if you are not ready to submit and yes. be in subjection to a husband, you are not ready to be married. That's true. And many today, their marriages are a wreck. That's right. And they're backslidden today, many. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they were not ready away. for the responsibility of marriage. Same Amen. token as a husband, if you're not ready to lay down your life yes. for your family, That's for right. your wife, and for That's your right. family, you're not ready to be Amen. a husband. True. Which, these, for, uh, these ten virgins, the Bible says, took their lamps. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Isaiah 62, 1, that salvation burns as a lamp. Right. Salvation burns as a lamp. These virgins are depicting to us people who had experiences of salvation. These are individuals that had gotten saved. They were saved individuals. They took their lamps. And it also says they went forth to meet the bridegroom. The Bible says that Jesus is the light that came into the world, and when we got saved, we begin to shine as lights yes. in this dark world. Amen. Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Yes. We receive light when we get saved. Yes. Amen. And we shine that light in a dark, sin-benighted world as a means to show the world a better way. Amen. Amen. Many have started out well. In fact, anybody that ever gets saved starts out well. Because God gives them a wonderful salvation. God works a wonderful deliverance. Amen. Amen. When God starts a person off, he starts them off right. God has never started off a person on a shaky foundation. Amen. But God gives them, if they really got it, if they got the goods, brother, they got something Amen. That the world can never take away from them, brother. Amen. They got something solid. They, got a, they were on the solid rock, as it were. Amen. They got something sure, something they know about. They got assurance. Uh, amen. Even when um, Brother Paul got saved there on the road to Damascus, he said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And he said, rise on thy feet, Paul, yes. and it shall be told thee. I'm not leaving you in confusion. Amen. I'm not leaving you without direction. But amen, brother, when God saved an individual. Uh, he gives them clarity. He gives them direction. He gives them purpose. Uh, amen. And so here is a picture of a people that had gotten a real experience of salvation. Yes. They were amen. going forth. They had every intention of yes. being ready to meet the bridegroom. They had amen. every intention. Amen. To be ready for Christ's coming. Uh, amen. To present a pure, spot, a spotless bride. Uh, amen. They went forth. They did well. Listen to me tonight. Many people have run well. They have Amen. done well. Amen. They were on fire. Amen. Amen. They had a real experience of salvation. And they had every intention. Amen. Of being ready. Amen. To meet God. Amen. They had every intention of staying yes. pure. And staying holy. But I'll tell you tonight. Good intentions Lord. alone are not enough. Amen. Good intentions will not save you. Amen. God, help us tonight to understand that the bridegroom is Christ. 
Christ is coming so that he can take his pride and present a pure and holy and spotless bride without blemish, without blame, without wrinkle. Amen. To the Father. Yes. Amen. Amen. Go to Revelation chapter 19, please. Revelation chapter 19, quickly just want to draw a thought here. As I said, there's many directions we could go with this message tonight. Revelation 19 and talks about the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. And I'll tell you tonight, you are either going to eat one of two things. Yes. Amen. You are going to either eat the true sayings of God, or you're going to eat the flesh. You are either going to take in the Word of God or you're going to take in something else. So, amen. amen. And tonight there's only two tables at which you're sitting. Amen. You're either sitting at the banqueting house of the Lord, at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. Or you are sitting, amen, at the table of the flesh, eating that cup, drinking of the cup of devils tonight, amen. brother. Amen. You're either eating truth or you're eating deception. Amen. You're either imbibing truth or you're imbibing error tonight, brother. Amen. And sad to say many, amen, have switched feasts. They have switched feasts. Amen. The marriage supper of the Lamb lasts for seven days. Amen. In the Hebrew custom, when a bride were to get married, remember when uh, uh, Jacob woke up and realized he was laying next to Leah? He didn't want Leah. Amen. He wanted Rachel. Amen. And he went to Laban, and Laban said what? Fulfill ye her week. Amen. Why? The Hebrew custom was is that the marriage ceremony was to last for seven days. Amen. At the seventh day, there was a call made. Amen. And the bridegroom and the bride would come together and they would be taken over to the bridegroom's father's house. Amen. Where another celebration would begin. Amen. It's going to be the same time thing here in this gospel day. Amen. When we are done with the seventh and final period of the marriage Amen. supper of the Lamb, brother, yes. which lasts seven days. Amen. The bridegroom is going to take his bride yes. and present her to the Father. Amen. 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 Revelation 19 verse 7 says, let us be glad mm -hmm. and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife have made herself ready. Brother, this Amen. marriage supper of the Lamb began in A.D. 33. And men and women can choose to come and eat of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Amen. But many are called. Amen. The cry has gone out. Amen. But so few. Amen. Have paid the price. True. Amen. And come to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Too many, too busy. They bought a field. They got married, brother. Right. Amen. They've been bidden to come. Amen. And that call has been sounded forth. Uh, amen. Since AD 33. Whosoever amen. will. Amen. Let him come. Yes. Amen. But brother, so many today, amen, have rejected that call. Amen. For one reason or another. Amen. We've had to go out into the highways, brother. Into the byways. Amen. amen. And call people to the marriage yes. supper of the Lamb. And there's a certain garment that you have to have. You have to have a wedding garment. You got to be pure. You got to be spotless. Uh, you got to be holy. You better be wearing the white linen of righteousness, brother. Not anybody gets into the marriage supper of the Lamb. But, brother, the only people that can feast at the table of God are those who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb and have been made holy. Amen. It says in verse number 8, And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the white linen is the righteousness of saints. Amen. Amen. These, uh, these ten virgins, they all went forth. They all had the same experience. I'm good, brother. They all had the same experience. Amen. They got the same salvation. And they even for a while had the same intentions. They were going to be ready. Amen. To meet the bridegroom. Amen. Verse number 2, Matthew 25, verse number 2. There are many that started out with conviction. Yes. They started out with zeal. They started out with sobriety. But somewhere, somehow, they have succumbed to a climate that is conducive yes. to sleep. 
Amen. Why were the virgins asleep? It was nighttime. Right. And sleep. it was awfully quiet. Mm. Yeah. When it gets dark and when it gets quiet, mm. yeah. you go to sleep. Oh, yes. You go to sleep. Amen. And brother, we're living in a sleepy age tonight. Oh, yes. The Bible says in verse number two, some were wise and some were foolish. Now, so far, there hasn't been a great distinction made between the different, as far as the differences go, between the ten virgins. They received the same experience. Amen. They, uh, they had received light. They had received salvation. Amen. And they all went forth. To meet the bridegroom. Not everybody you started out with is here. Not everybody you started out in the race with is still in the race tonight. Amen. Right. There's a lot. Amen. That went to the same altar you went to. Amen. Got saved the same way you got saved. Had the same intentions and the same desires that you had. And tonight, brother, you are in two totally different places. True. Sad to say, some are sitting in the exact same place and are in two di totally different places. That's true. Amen. Some are wise and some are foolish. Amen. Amen. Verse number three, it says, They that were foolish took their lamps, but they took no oil. Yes. They took no oil with them. They took their lamps. Yep. They took their experience. They took their profession. They had the form that of godliness just like anybody else. They looked just as saved as anybody else. That's right. But they were missing something so incredibly vital. They took no oil. Yes. They took no oil. What made the foolish foolish? Amen. For whatever reason, they failed to keep their lamps lit. For whatever the reason, whatever their excuse might have been, brother, the only thing that keeps a lamp lit is the oil. And brother, if you don't have the oil, your lamp goes out tonight. Amen. Amen. It is the oil that produces light. Amen. Without that oil, you can't produce light. Amen. The oil is the Spirit of God. And if you don't have the Spirit of God, you don't have spiritual life tonight. You can have a profession. You can have a farm. Amen. You could even have had some sort of experience. But brother, if you don't have the oil in your vessel tonight, you do not have spiritual life. I don't care where you go to church. Amen. I don't care how long you've been around. Amen. I don't care what camp meetings you've been to. I don't care what experiences you might have had, brother. If you lose the oil out of your lamp, you have lost spiritual life tonight. Amen. It is the oil that produces the light. The oil is the Spirit of God. And without God's Spirit, you cannot produce spiritual living. Zero. None. Amen. If you don't have the Spirit of God, you're none of His tonight. That's what the Scripture says. If you don't have God's Spirit, you are none of His. The only thing that makes you God's is if you have God's Spirit. Right. Do you still have the oil in your vessel tonight? Amen. Good question. Do you have the reality of the Spirit of God in Amen. your vessel tonight? Brother, listen. You can go through a lot of forms. You can have a lot of motions that are, amen, uh, uh, similar to righteous, righteousness. Uh, amen. You can dress the part. You can talk the part. But tonight, God wants to know, do you actually have the Spirit of God in your vessel tonight? Brother, I can look at you and by your appearance think you're doing fine. I can believe you're saved, brother. Amen. Why? Because you have your lamp. You have the shell. You have the profession. Right. You have the outward manifestation. But, brother, what's in your lamp tonight? Amen. What is in your lamp? What's flowing in your lamp tonight? Do you have the Holy Ghost? Good question. What happens when the light goes out? What happens when the Holy Ghost is no longer operating? Right. It goes dark. Yes. 
it goes dark mm -hmm. and you go to sleep yes it goes dark many places brother they've gone dark tonight amen true and brother you can't wake those people up Nope. My God, God what it's going to take to wake some people up, brother. Oh. It strikes the fear of God in me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, help us tonight. Amen. People have lost the Holy Ghost right out of their life, and they don't even know it. Yes. They're fast. Brother, listen, you would think that if the Spirit of God has departed from you, it would put a shudder, it would trouble you. But my God, many have lost the oil right out of their experience, and they're fast asleep tonight. That's right. Yes. They're fast asleep tonight. True. It's getting dark in many places, brother. Amen. Some, the lamp is very dim. It's flickering, yeah. And some have gone out altogether. Yep. I say it's getting very dark across the land. True. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is not operating in these vessels, brother. That's right. The Spirit of God is bound. Yeah. Brother, when the Holy Ghost is out of a vessel, amen, you rest assured that all spiritual life will leave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yes. have a dried up dead condition in the land yes. today. Yes. True. And sad to say, it's so hard to make anyone aware of it. Yes, it is. They get mad at you anyway. The wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. The only thing that distinguished the wise from the foolish was the possession of oil. That's it. Because really the rest of this account they're all about in the same shape. Yep. Yeah. And what's that let me know, brother? The Spirit of God makes all the difference in the world. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Brother, That's you can lose difference. a lot of things, but you better not let His Holy Spirit be Amen. taken from you. Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Even if I have strayed or whatever situation and condition, I've succumbed to some conditions yes. or whatever, but Lord, please don't take your Holy right. Spirit away from me. Amen. Amen. Brother, there might be sleepiness and slumber all around me, but please don't take your Holy Spirit away amen. from me. My God, I might have, amen, some shortcomings and some needs and some lukewarmness that has affected me, but please don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Brother, the only difference between the wise and the foolish is some had oil and some didn't. Yes. And brother, I'm telling you, the only difference around the church today is people who have oil and those who don't. Amen. Amen. Brother, you want to get right down Truth. to it. You want to get right amen. down to it. Throw away all these other confusing, yep. uh, amen, happenings That's and it. circumstances and backgrounds and so this That's happened and that happened. God. Get right down to it tonight. People do not have the Spirit of God. Amen. True. That's it. God help us tonight. Yes, sir. Despite the sleepy conditions, despite those around the wise allowing themselves to lose the Spirit of God, the wise still took some oil. Listen, 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 listen. The reason why some of you aren't deceived tonight, mm -hmm. it wasn't because the conditions caused you to survive. That's right. The conditions would have killed you. The climate should have killed you. Yeah. It's not because there were spiritual individuals all around you just flourishing, brother. Most of the people around you That's right. lost out. That's right. It's not because the ministry has just been blowing the trumpet and keeping you on fire, brother. Nope. Come on! Not even close. You, it's because you have maintained a sensitivity. Yes. At the very least, you have maintained... Yes. Else you would have met the same fate as others. And don't you think more highly of yourself than you ought to That's think tonight. Right. It's not because you're special. It's not because right. I'm special. That's right. That's right. Brother, it is not because God has privileged Amen. us above all the others, no, brother. He would have no, done the no. same for them. He wants to help anybody tonight, brother. But my God, you have to remain honest with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Do not Amen. grieve the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Don't dismiss the Holy Ghost, brother. Amen. I don't care what the conditions are. You better still have some oil in your lamp. Yes, sir. Truth. Oh, may God help us tonight. My Lord. Verse 5, while the bridegroom tarried, mm -hmm. they, all, they all, all of them, <laughs> the wise and That's the right. foolish, tonight. they all slumbered. That's why I roll my eyes sometimes when mm -hmm. I hear some of these people act like they have been unaffected. I've stayed true, brother. 
by the condition. We've always, we've held it. We've held yeah. it. We, you know, we, we've always been on fire. And this, that, brother. No, you haven't. I've stayed with it. And you're not now. Yep. I know you lost the Holy Ghost because you ain't seen nothing. That's right. Amen. Some people act like they have been, they have risen above the, con that oh, their ministry rose yes. above. They've yes. been above it all, brother. I'm sorry. They all nope. slumbered and you slept. All been affected. I'm telling you, the conditions Amen. that have existed have affected us all. Yes. To one extent or another. There is no one that has been completely unaffected. Amen. By Amen. The Amen. Converts have been affected, True. brother. They had to come into this climate. That's right. They've come into this climate. Amen. Amen. Brother, young people have been affected. Yes. I didn't say they were responsible, but they've been affected they've been by affected. the conditions. Family members. Amen. Divided tonight. Yes. Because of conditions. True. We've all been affected one way or another by these conditions. And brother, amen. in some ways, we are all, amen, responsible for having slumbered yes. and slept. It's true. Listen, slumbering, I get it. Slumbering and sleeping, is not, they're not the same thing. No. But what is, listen, to me, I've heard some try to really distinguish between slumbering and sleeping. <laughs> brother, neither one's good. No. No. Neither one's being watchful. Brother, whether you're knocked out sleep while you're driving right. or you slumbered, if you wreck, you wreck. Right. And you can wreck slumbering and you can wreck sleeping, that's brother. Right. I just so, know. so husbands, don't tell your wife you were just slumbering. That that's not a relief. <laughs> oh babe, you I wasn't fast asleep. Well, you were halfway over the shoulder. <laughs> You've been slumbering for Come on, years. brother. What I'm, what is he trying to say? They were all affected. Yeah. They were all affected. Brother, yes. I don't care what you say tonight. You've been affected. Amen. We have True. all been affected by yes, Laodicea. Sir. We have all been affected by lukewarmness. We have all Amen. been affected by these conditions. Yes. You have not been a fireball off no, the altar no, from the day no. you got up off it, brother. Amen. You have had some apathy. You have had some lukewarmness. Amen. You have had some spiritual indifference. Amen. God has had to shake you. God has had to stir you. God has had to convict you. Amen. Because, amen, amen. we have all been affected. And until the church admits that they've been affected, brother, amen, they're going to keep on sleeping a perpetual amen. sleep tonight. Amen. True. That's exactly right. The bridegroom tarried. Yes. Another word for that is delayed. He delayed. The conditions, what I'm saying tonight is the conditions were not conducive mm. to staying awake. That's right. The conditions tonight are not conducive to staying awake. No, they're not. Amen. No, they're you not. look across the church of God in general. Amen. You look across the religious Amen. world in general, brother, yes. and they are trying to lullaby yes. people to sleep. Amen. I mean, brother, they're yes. lullabying people to sleep from the from the pulpit. Yep. Amen. They are lullabying oh people to sleep from the pulpit, brother. Amen. Amen. And the next time some are going to wake up is going to be in the flames, That's right. brother. That's right. Brother, we don't need a sweet lullaby. No. My God, we don't need a sweet lullaby in the pulpit, brother. Amen. Amen. It is time for us to have a message that will keep us awake. Amen. Blow the trumpet. Amen. Literally and spiritually. Yes. Amen. 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 Some of these Church of God places would be a cure for insomnia, brother. Amen. Because they ain't got nothing that is keeping people awake either way. That's right. Hey, you ever have a hard time falling asleep? Go listen to one of these false church of God prophets. Yes. You'll be out. Yes. yes. Amen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> People fell asleep, brother. Oh, yes. They fell asleep. They all slumbered and slept. Yes, sir. Even those who had the Holy Ghost. Right. He didn't make an exception. You catch that they tonight? All. The wise slept too. The wise slept too. Amen. They were knocked out. Yep. They were grog. They were affected. Yes. They True. were. He doesn't say the foolish slept and the wise slumbered. That's no. not what he said. No. They were all in about the same shape, brother. Yes. As far as their spiritual yes. awareness. My God. Yes. When you're asleep, your senses are not sharp. That's They're right. Not. In fact, that's why when you get awakened out of a dead sleep, it takes a minute. It takes a while, yes, sir. For you to become oriented. Yes. 
Uh, brother, I thank God. Amen. A message got to come. Yes. Amen. In such a way as smack you upside, get up. Amen. And it yeah. takes some people a minute yeah. to get oriented. Amen. Uh, listen. Yeah. Listen, brother, someone come and start preaching the gospel, <laughs> amen, under the anointing of the Holy yes. Ghost. It takes some a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. That's not what I'm used yeah. to. Right. What just happened? That's not church of God. Hey, that's, I don't like that. That's mean. I don't like the tone. Yeah. Amen. What are you doing? Let me sleep. Yep. Then my God, it's time to wake up. Amen. amen. It's time to wake up. Awake, amen. awake. Who? Oh, Zion. Put on thy strength. Yes, it's sir. time for some of us to get oriented. Yeah. Amen. Wake up. You can, I know it's midnight. I know the hour's late. I know it's a sleepy time, but it is time to wake up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Even those who had the Holy Ghost in their vessels, those who did not lose the Spirit of God, they were still affected by this condition when they were among people who had lost the Spirit of God out of their vessels. Yes. I hope you got that tonight. When you stay among a people who have lost the Spirit of God, it affects you. Amen. More than you think. Yes, sir. Come on. You will not not be affected. It's crafty. Come on. You will not, you will not be able to rise above that climate, brother. Amen. That's why you can't stay some places. You will never rise above that climate. You will never rise above that. You, listen, you will not rise above your atmosphere. That's right. You will not rise above Amen. your atmosphere. And brother, even though these people had the Holy Ghost, even though they were sensitive to the things of God, mm -hmm. because those who had lost the Holy Ghost slept, they slept too. Yep. They all slept. Yes. And brother, some of you were sleeping. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's just be honest this, this evening. We were sleeping. Sure. For a long time, we were content. Yes. We were satisfied. That's true. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Don't necessarily believe tonight that the conditions you left have drastically changed. You're just awake now. <laughs> yes. You're right. You're right. Don't believe that it just all of a sudden just went downhill and now you woke up and had to leave. Brother, you understand some of those conditions had been lurking decades. and existing. Yes. Amen. And had been around for a long, long, long time. time. True. You were just asleep. Yes. I didn't say you weren't saved. I didn't say you weren't doing what all you knew to do. Right. But the condition had had an effect on you. Yes. Oh, yes, it did. That's true. Amen. Some people feel they woke up because they realized this thing, everything's just drastically changed. And all. Nah, a lot of those things were working long before. You just didn't see them because of you were, you were content. Amen. Amen. Where you were, God had to stir your heart. That's right. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 Listen to me. Before you ever actually see anything visibly, you understand that thing's been working for a long, long yes, time. Yes, sir. Apostasy never has happened overnight. Yep. In fact, apostasy right. many times has been decades in the making. Amen. Yes. It has been decades in the making. It was little by little. Little by little. It was little by little. Little fold. Things lurking. Hands. Amen. Even the apostles knew. Amen. Even while they were on the scene, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some right from among us. Yes. Because why? They're working now. They're yep. undercover now. Amen. And, and some things are never going to fly right. while we're on the wall. Amen. But brother, as John went off the scene and Paul went off the yeah, scene and really Peter went cool. off the scene and James went off the scene, they begin to pop up. Yes. They begin to pop up. Then yes. they begin to pop up. Amen. Yes. True. I sure have. And then when it's finally up here, now you wake up. Brother, it was over here. That's it was right. over here. It was in your home. And then it was in your ear. You were going out with them. You were laboring. You were singing yes. with them the whole time. Amen. 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 They Amen. fell asleep Lord, because it was quiet and dark. Let me finish this message this afternoon, please. God help. They fell asleep because it was quiet and dark. Yes. 
These virgins were comfortable. Right. They had taken their ease in Zion. Right. Yes. Amen. It was quiet. Yes. Listen, when I sleep, I like it quiet. Me too. My wife's side of the family, they can sleep anywhere, brother. <laughs> Come from a big family, you know what it is. But listen, <laughs> man, listen, when I sleep, I like, I like it nice and quiet. Yeah. Amen. Everybody needs to stop talking. Don't be playing nothing. I don't need no story. I don't need no adventures in Odyssey. Nothing. <laughs> Amen. Some of, us, some of us had a little different routine. Yes. Come on. Yes. Amen. But, brother, in general, when people sleep, they can sleep best when it's nice and quiet. Yes. Amen. And, brother, when the light goes out and people go quiet, you go to sleep. Yes. True. You better stay awake, Church of God. You better watch and pray. Yes. Watch and pray. Watch and pray that you enter not into right. temptation. Yes. The Bible says in Revelation 8.1, when he had opened the seventh seal, mm -hmm. there was silence. It's quiet. Oh, yes. It was quiet. Yes, it was. There was silence. There was silence in heaven. Mm -hmm. Not, not out in the world, not out in rank, Christian, rank mm -hmm. sectarian religion and Protestantism, brother. It was quiet in the heavens. Right. It was quiet in the church of the living God. Amen. And people have got, listen, he was not talking. He was not talking about the harlots. Amen. He didn't say ten harlots. Amen. He said virgins. Yes. He said vir these were chaste people. People who actually had the truth. Had an experience with God, brother. And yet they went to sleep. Yes. It has gone quiet, We've eerily quiet. Oh, yes. Around Zion. Yes. True. I'll say, brother, most of these meetings I've been to, it's been very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. yes. No real rejoicing. And, brother, they, they, they're almost disoriented when a message comes that yeah. has some life to life it. life in it, yeah. Yes. That's true. Amen. I was at a meeting, brother, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here, but a year and a half ago, preached for the first time there, this brother came up to me and said, that was fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it just, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was an average message, I guess, you know, I didn't feel like it was anything uh, earth shattering. <laughs> But I'm telling you, brother, that doesn't speak to, yeah. to me or anything. It speaks to the conditions. Right. 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 Speaks Shook to the conditions, brother. Amen. And some people, when they, they, get, or they, get, they get awakened for a minute, but brother, yep. as soon as that preacher leaves and this, that, that, they go right back to being lullaby, yes, right sir. back to sleep, yes, my God. Sir. I've seen people stirred for a minute. Yep. Stirred for a moment, brother. Just for but a my moment. God, no real change afterwards. Nope. It's gone quiet around Zion. People, I thought Christ was going to come years ago, and I thought the church was going to be this, and I thought that. Wait, man, we thought some things were already going to transpire. Sure. And they have it. Yeah. So I'm going to eat, drink, yeah. live my life. I'm going to plant. I'm going to build. I'm going to feather my nest. Yep. I'm going to take care of my family. I'm going to take care of my portfolio. Come on, brother. Oh, Lord. And I'll just go to church. That's what's amen. And go through the motions. A lot of people. People have lost the spirit of God. Amen. True. Listen, they've lost the liveliness that comes with being saved. Amen. There's no excitement hardly anymore no. about being saved. Lost the reality. But listen, you want, if you're saved this this evening, there should be a little excitement in your life. Listen, there should be some life. Right. There should be some spirit. They that worship Him. Worship him in what? Spirit. That's a lowercase s. Spirit. Spirited. There should be some life. Worship right. him in spirit and in truth, brother. But you go to a lot of these places, the testimonies are dead, the songs are secular. Amen. They have no spiritual life, no spiritual anointing. The preaching is a little lecture on life, brother. Amen. And my God, most people are content to have it just that way amen. because they believe if they follow the program, amen, they're going to get to heaven one day and it's a lie of the devil. Amen. Amen. True. Church of God's fast asleep. Yes. Amen. The Bible says, For they that sleep, sleep when? Yes. In the night. That's right. And they that be drunken. Drunken. <laughs> when are they drunken? Yep. In the night. Why? 
the cup they've been sipping from. That's right. Amen. They've been sipping from the cup of devils. They've yes. been sipping, sipping from that Babylonian cup. Amen. Amen. What did the harlot have in her cup? She had the wine. And brother, when she stood, when they drank of the wine, amen, they lost their ability. It right. impaired their judgment. Why? Because they got drunk on the Babylonian wine and they could no longer distinguish between truth Good and error. Evil. That's right. Amen. 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 That's where we're at. People have lost their spiritual substance yes. at the worst possible hour. That's yeah. true. But Amen. I can't think of a worse time. I mean, this is the absolute worst time yes. to have lost the Spirit of God. True. You know why? Ain't much hope for you. She's all right, brother. There's not much hope for you. Yeah. This is the worst possible time. Why? The bridegroom's coming. He's en route. Amen. He's on his way, and you fooled around. You could kill him any day. And you fooled around and lost the spirit of God out of your life. Now you've loosened up on your convictions. Now. Now. You've loosened up on your prayer life. Now. You've loosened up on your burden for souls. Now. You're 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 you're, you're associating with the world. Now. Come on. Yes. And the bridegroom's coming. The Bible says the prophets prophesied falsely and the priests bear rule by their own means. But you know what the most egregious? He said a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. You know what it was? My people. Yeah. They love, love to they so. love to have it so. It's terrible. Most people don't want to be, they don't want to be stirred. True. That's why they don't want to talk to you. Listen, don't, don't. Sleep. Don't feel too bad. Like, that's why they don't want to talk to you, brother. That's it's right. not even really personal. Sure, sure. Right. It's not that they don't like you per se, brother. They don't like you in the sense because of what you're going to say. Right. right. They don't want to be stirred. They don't want to be disturbed. Amen. They don't want to be challenged. Oh, brother. Yep. Don't True. call me babbling. That's right. That's right. That's a buzzword right now. Oh, yes. That's a I've buzzword right now. And it's so funny. Amen. For years, you ain't heard these preachers That's talking right. an ounce about babbling. Yeah. It's about amen. it every camp meeting now. Yeah. Everywhere. And I've watched, amen. I'll see you. Well, what babbling really is. Yeah. Yes. Brothers, what a, what a pathetic bunch of excuses for ministers amen. today. All of a sudden, they, they think they know what yes. babbling is, brother. All of a sudden, they're busting out the rubble. Yep. That's true. Amen. Nobody's Come had on. To say for 30 what? Years. They're trying to keep people asleep. Yep. We, we got the same thing here. We got it here. We got this. We got that, brother. You know what? You don't have the Spirit of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. You don't have the Spirit of God. Saw a minister, and I'm not going to say his name. I'll spare him. But I watched, he was at a meeting just a couple weeks ago, and he let him know if you're not associated with a certain geographical location, you're babbling. Yep. You are babbling. I'll tell you what, that's a false prophet, right? That's false. I said it. I said it. You could call me. You could call me. Amen. Ain't going to change a thing. He's a false prophet. That's right. Listen, your connection to a geographical location doesn't make you Zion or Babylon. Right. True. And I'll tell you, that kind of preaching shows me where people, they are fast asleep. Yes. You say amen to that garbage. You say amen to that, amen. brother. Amen. I'm not saying you're a bad person, but I know one thing. You're asleep. You're asleep. You're asleep if you believe that this little geographical location on, amen, a little speck on the map of seven and a half billion people in the world, and unless you're associated, amen, you can't even be in that area unless you're associated with that geographical location, else you're battling. You don't know what Babylon or Zion is tonight. Amen. True. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Instead of getting behind a pulpit, brother, they should have went and retired in Florida That's somewhere. That's right. Amen. Have enough respect. They ain't got the trump. Get out of the way. You say, That's Brother right. Nathan, you're disparaging the man. I'm disparaging no. the conditions. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know why they feel so comfortable saying that kind of stuff? Because they got a people Amen. that all push it and support it and condone Amen. it, brother. Right. Brother, listen right. to me. You ever hear me preach something like that? You better be looking for that exit That's or right. find me a way out that exit, brother. Amen. Ship, keep me moving. Ship me on out of here, brother. Amen. 
Brother, we need some people that will rise up and let the king know that the king doesn't burn incense. Amen. You're out of order. Yes. The ministry should have been up there instead of nodding their heads. And they should have got up and rebuked that foolishness, brother. True. That's right. That's why we're here tonight. That's right. That's why we got people asleep tonight. Yes. Oh, Brother Nathan, you're getting too personal. I'm getting about as personal as Paul when he said, Demas has forsaken me. Amen. Hymenius and what's the other one? I've delivered unto Satan. Alexander Amen. the coppersmith did me evil tonight. Right. Amen. John said, Demetrius loved, Demetrius loveth to have the preeminence. Preeminent. Call him by name in his letters yes. for 2,000 years worth of history for people to know tonight. Amen. 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 Well, brother, we're getting to the place where we ought to probably just start calling these folks names. Amen. It might be, yeah, it might be necessary. Saying you're the remnant of the remnant. You're fast asleep tonight. Amen. Amen. True. Talking about you got divine healing as you're lullabying people to sleep who's going to bust hell wide open one day, having them believe that their needs in their life are okay because they haven't taken a drop of medicine, brother. What a lie of the devil tonight. Amen. Foolishness. And it's time to rip the cloak off of it. Amen. Time to rip the cloak off of it. Yes. Brother, you can't have a, blame, a ministry full of blame preaching to you. Brother, the ministry's been cheapened today. Amen. Just cheapened. Because you'll let anybody and everybody That's preach right. to you. It's just a good old boys club. It's true That's anyways. Right. It's true. It's true anyways. It is true. There's some people not qualified to be standing behind Amen. the church of God pulpit. And let me tell you tonight, they're not standing behind the church of God pulpit. They're standing behind a Babylonian pulpit that has the Amen. name church of God. Amen. That's right. True. There's some things you can do in sin that disqualify you from the ministry for as long as you live. Amen, Amen anyways. Amen, Amen anyways. Amen. 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 But we got Babylonian conditions today. Amen. And the ministry mitigates it and lessens the severity of it and go over it and That's slap right. it on the back. Amen. And keep the people fast asleep. Yep. Don't you dare question us. That's Brother, right. it's time for the trumpet to blow. Amen. Amen. At midnight, verse number six. Here it is. Amen. And at midnight. There was a cry. Brother, people thought they were going to sleep all the way yeah. into eternity. But my God, we're going to wake you up at least one time. Amen. Amen. You're going to, you're going to at least open your eyes one yeah. time. You, know, you might turn around and go back to sleep, but you heard it. Amen. I believe some have opened Thank their eyes and gone right yes, back to sir. sleep. I believe that tonight as sure as I'm standing in front of you tonight. Amen. There are some that woke up long enough yes, to say this sir. is truth. Yes. They, they woke up long enough to back it up. Yes. But brother, I'm telling you through the conditions, through other people that lost the spirit of God, they've gone right back to sleep. Yes, brother. sir. Or they've gone right back to their system and done business yes. with it. Come partake. Listen, 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 listen. Not everybody's going back to sleep. Some, some are wide awake. That's right. Oh, they're, they're wide awake. Some know. Amen. Well. But my God, their response. Yes. Their response to the cry mm -hmm. is going to render them lost. That's true. Listen, you better take heed how you respond to the word of God. I need yes. any message from God. Right. Amen. That's exactly Amen. right. It's your attitude towards the Word of God. Amen, yep. Talking to the brother last night, it's yep. your attitude. It's your attitude. It's all about your attitude towards the yes. things of God. It's, brother, listen, you can not understand a lot. Yep. There's a lot of things you may not see. Yep. But if you'll keep an attitude right. to receive God's Word, yes. God will help you. God will Don't help you, brother. Against it. God right. will not let you be, God will not let you Amen. be deceived. God has Lord. never, ever let an honest soul be deceived. No. Never. It's never happened. No. Brother. Listen, an honest heart, an, a heart with a good attitude never goes to hell. That's right. They don't go to hell, brother. Why? Because they're willing to receive whatever God shows them. Yes. I was asleep. Amen. Amen. I was lukewarm. Right. Oh, we're just, we, 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 we're the remnant, and, we, and we've just always been right. And we're, we're been on fire, and amen, we've always been this, and we've always been. Brother, listen, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Nope. That's listen, some of your ministry has, has been, you know, <laughs> it's been yep. futile. 
Okay. I don't, yeah, I mean, you've, you've labored some in vain. Yes. Yes. I know. Yeah. Some can't hardly. I mean, listen, we've all done it. Sure. Come on. There's some things we did yeah. that now we look back on and say, yeah, I shouldn't yeah. have done that. Yeah, there was no, no profit in that. That's right. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have supported that. Right. But because my heart. Yes. There was no, there was no dishonesty. No, you did it. There was the no Lord. like disobedience. Right. I did it in all good conscience. Did I did it with, a, I did what I right. knew to do. Yes. And brother, that's all the difference in the world right Amen. there. Amen. It's all the difference in the world. That's right. And at midnight, Amen. there was a cry made. Amen. There was a cry. Yes. Oh, I thank God a cry has been Amen. made. Amen. Thank the Lord. And brother, I appreciate what the cry was. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Yes. Listen, if the message had been one word different, on, yep. behold, the bridegroom is here. Yep. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. We in trouble. Yes. I oh, thank God he's a little ways down. Listen, yeah. okay. Oh, he's, he's coming. Yeah, we've got some time. Here are ten. Coming. Coming. Thank you. Yes. God help me. Amen. God help me. Wake me up. Start me up. My God, he's coming. Amen. Amen. Yes. I thank God. Listen, when God sends a message, there's always time to Amen. make it. Listen, the message to the church is a message of mercy and yes. reality. Amen. It's the mercy of yes, God. Sir. Thank God he's not here. Amen. He's not my God, God, I woke up and look at me. Yes. I need to trim my lamp. Yes. I need to trim my lamp. Yes. Let me get on the altar. I'm staying awake now. Amen. Amen. Hey, brother, help Amen. me stay awake. Amen. Exhort me. Push me. Challenge me. But, brother, I got to stay awake now. I can't go to sleep now. Amen. Look, the message came. I'm up. Right. Attention. Amen. I'm up. Amen. 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 I thank God the message wasn't, behold, the bridegroom's here. No. Oh, you ought to be thanking God tonight. That wasn't yes. the message. Thank the Lord. Amen. Yes, Had the bridegroom found some of you in the shape you're in, you'd been in trouble. Yes. As well intentioned as you may have been, you still would have been in trouble. Yes, sir. Because you know what? A lot of us didn't know better. That's right. That's right. And we were still affected. Yes, sir. God's had great mercy. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Because God could have said, I gave you a perfect salvation when you knelt at that altar. Yep. When you had the lamp of salvation, brother, yes. I gave you the Holy Ghost. What happened? That's right. But thank God, he didn't leave you there. Yes. Amen. A cry was made. Yes. He sent a messenger. Amen. Before he came. Yes. Amen. He sent, I thank God he's sending some messengers before yes, he comes. Yes, he is. Amen. Thank he the is Lord. sending some messengers before he Amen. comes. The message tonight is, behold, the bridegroom cometh. And let me tell you something tonight, he's almost here. He's almost. Amen. He's almost in sight. Lord, help yes. Lord, help Amen. But there's no message that says he's here. No. Because when he's here, he's here. Right. Amen. You're too late. The, what I'm saying is, right, listen, the message comes because there is time for right. adjustment. Right. still space. Thank God before judgment. Yes. In wrath. Remember mercy. God has remembered Amen. mercy. Amen. Thank the Lord. And he said, you know what? Let me send him a cry. Yes. The word cry there is talking about a message. Go to uh, Matthew 3, I think. Matthew 3, verse number 1, brother. Matthew chapter 3, verse number 1 through 3. Let me get the thing to turn there. Matthew 3, 1 through 3. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. All right, there was a cry in the wilderness yes oh, yeah. a message Amen. a message john began to preach there was a cry made i thank god that at midnight a message came yes thank the lord amen. thank god a message came amen amen brother i'm telling you we need a, that's all we need is the word of god we need a message yes we just need a message amen there's nothing needed. there's nothing more dangerous than a church without a message yes amen. Nothing sadder either. There is nothing more dangerous than a ministry without That's a message. True. You know why? They slumber and sleep. Yes, sir. It goes dark. 
lose your purpose. There was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Yes. Go ye, come out. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Yeah, he didn't say wait on him. Get out of there, you ain't beating him there. Yeah. That's Go ye out. Yes. Go where he is. Right. Amen. He's coming and you're coming. <laughs> Y'all need to get moving. You need a meeting with one another. Amen. Come to Jesus meeting. <laughs> Go ye out. Yes. You, listen, the come out message all over the word of God, brother. Go ye out to meet him. Amen. Praise God. Thank the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation 10, 7, but in the days of the voice, in the days of the voice of who? The seventh angel. Yes. When he shall begin to sound. Amen. Amen. The mystery of God should be finished. God sends a message in the seventh seal. Yes. Amen. A definitive message. Yes. I said a definitive oh, message. Oh, yes. A particular message. Specific. A specific yes. message. The Amen. question is, what are you going to do with it? That's Amen. the question. What are you going to do with the midnight cry? Yes, sir. What are you going to do? Listen, they all responded. Verse 7. Matthew 25, verse 7. Matthew then 25, 7. All those virgins arose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to get that tonight. Right. They all attempted to trim, they trimmed they trim their lamps. Yep. Those foolish virgins tried to go on like they, they'd gone on before. Right. Was it, remember, uh, was Samson? He fell asleep on the harlot's lap. <laughs> Come on! Rose up as he fell asleep on the harlot's lap. He did. And lost his strength. Yes. But when he woke up, he didn't know he lost his strength. No, he didn't. He wished not. He said, I'm going to go out just like at other times. I'm going to go out. But he wished not. He knew not that what? The Spirit, Spirit the had Lord. departed Amen. from him. Yes. So Many true. tonight have fallen asleep on the harlot's lap. Yes. And they don't even know that their strength, the Spirit of God, Amen. has gone from That's them. That's right. They, listen, Samson woke Some up. Of them you can't wake up. Samson woke up. Have the power. That's it. Yeah. He didn't have the power. He lost the Holy Spirit. True. He fooled around and he fooled around and he fooled around, and he lost his strength. Yes, sir. And I say tonight, many tonight are in the same predicament. Amen. Amen. They're falling asleep on a beautiful woman's lap. Yep. Oh, Lord. She's a harlot. Yes. They all realized what they had or they didn't have. Mm-hmm. God sends a message that will awaken anyone. Yes. Everybody sees where they And it are. does. Yep. I believe people have been awakened. I do. Amen. I believe Amen. That. Yes, sir. I believe that with all my heart. And I don't say everybody, but I believe there are some. There's a lot. That have been awakened. Yes, sir. And they have responded in a manner that is going to cause them to lose their soul. That's right. Oh, Lord. I've had people look me straight in the eyes mm -hmm. and tell me how wrong some things were. Yep. And then they're right back in it. I've had people admit they're in Babylon. Yes, sir. And still can't move. Oh, Lord. And still can't move. Mm -hmm. That's a serious thing tonight. Brother. Yes. You've been awakened. Yes, sir. And you know it's Babylon. And you won't move. You won't make any adjustments. And you know what they all try to do? And it's played out right here in this parable, mm -hmm. in this account. Give us they try to get you to come down. Yep. Yes, sir. Give us of your oil. Right. Give us of your oil. Yep. You lessen the Spirit of God yep. out of your vessel. Mm -hmm. And so we can just all be on an even, plain yep. field. Oh, Lord. They want you to diminish it. Yes. They want you to come down. That's it. What a sad response to the message. True. The foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil. Mm -hmm. 
for our lamps have gone out and we want yours to go out too. <laughs> right. Oh, Lord. Come on. That's it. Brother, say. you better not give up an ounce of the That's Spirit right. of God out of your life. Amen. Brother, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. The Spirit of God gives you everything you need. Amen. And you can't do without anything the Spirit gives you. Amen. Amen. And people tonight, they're sacrificing the Spirit of God yes. for fellowship. True. That's true. So true. Yes. They're sacrificing the genuine Holy so Ghost cheap. to go to a camp meeting. That's it. They're sacrificing the genuine Holy the Ghost, building. amen, so their family can all go to the same church. Yes. Oh, They're sacrificing the genuine Holy Ghost, amen, to keep the system going. Oh, amen. God. True. Amen. You better not, listen, you better not give an ounce of the Holy Ghost up. Amen. If you got to sacrifice the Spirit of God for Ain't fellowship worth it. tonight, worth it. brother, that's not fellowship. No. No, it's not. I am not sacrificing the Spirit of God for the sake of fellowship tonight. I'm not that hard up tonight. Me neither. I'm no, not sir. sacrificing the severity of the cry that was made at midnight to have Amen. fellowship with you tonight. Amen. That's right. These foolish virgins, instead of owning their condition completely, Instead of admitting they had lost, listen, you know how many ministers would go high up in my estimation just if they honest. would just acknowledge right. some things. Stop acting like the sheep are coming out of left field. Yeah. Stop acting like they're lunatics. Stop acting like they made this up, brother. Amen. Just admit yeah. we've lost the Spirit of God. Yes, yeah. amen. Amen. Just admit it. Yep. Instead of owning their condition, that they lost the Spirit of God in their own life, they wanted those who had the Spirit to lose the Spirit right. so they could be on a more Amen. equal level. They wanted to lessen spirituality, and that's why you're seeing more and more yes. of the world come in, brother. That's yes. it. And there's pressure. There's pressure. They don't always, it's not like verbally pressure per se, but there's pressure for you to conform. That's Amen. It. Don't you put judgment on me. Don't you say nothing about this in my home. Amen. And my children wearing that and us right. going there. There's pressure. Yes, sir. For you to lessen spirituality. There sure is. Amen. That's you don't true. need all of that. It doesn't require all of that. You just let some go. That's you just let fact. some things go and we all won't look bad. Mm -hmm. That's what people want today. Yes, sir. They want to feel justified in their condition. Instead of responding immediately. And brother, I want to emphasize this to you tonight. You need to be in the habit of responding immediately to the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. There is awful danger in delay. Yes. There is, oh, listen, I'm not talking about just when the word goes forth. You have in devotion, you have in prayer, the Spirit of God speak to you. Respond to that. Amen. Make the adjustment. Cut, yes. cut that off. Go talk to so-and-so. Amen. Call so whatever. Brother, you need to be in the habit of yes, responding Amen. immediately to the voice of God. Amen. Listen, the king's business requires haste. Amen. When he speaks, he ain't waiting for you when you feel like it and this, that. No, he, he gave the, the word. He gave you his word for you to respond to. Amen. Yes, sir. You know why? Because the bridegroom's going to be here. Right. The bridegroom is going to be here, and you need to be ready. Yes, sir. They had ample time. Listen to me. I want you to get this. They had ample time to make adjustments. Yes. You say, Brother Nathan, how do you know that? Because he sent a message. Right. Yes. He wasn't sending them a message and then say, oh, there's no time. Sorry. That, that wasn't what he was doing. No. It was mercy. That's right. Wake up. Wake up. Yes. Wise, foolish, all of you, wake up and get yourselves situated. Because the bridegroom, it wasn't just for the wise. It, they all woke up. Yes. Not just the wise woke up. The foolish woke up. Amen. It was a universal message. Yes, sir. It was a universal cry. And it Amen. was available to all the virgins. Right. Yes was yes. not just available no, to sir. the wise. It was available to the foolish, brother. Amen. That's right. The difference is in their response. That's it. Yes. That's right. The difference is in their response. 
You say, Brother Nathan, it seems like the whole the bridegroom cometh, and then they went and tried to get oil, but while they were trying to go get oil, the, the, uh, the, the bridegroom came, and they just they ran out of time. It's not quite what happened. No. That's right. That's not quite what happened. No. I didn't say they had a lot of time. But he gave they didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. But that's not quite what happened. Man. The foolish started talking. Yeah. My suggestion would have been instead of you're not getting the Spirit of God from anybody. Amen. Amen. Nope. What's the point of talk? I've lost the Spirit of God. Talking to Brother Martin ain't going to do me any good. No, sir. Amen. Not one minute. Brother Martin, let me, I, I can't give you the Spirit of God. I can't nope. help you. There's, nothing, there's nope. nothing I can do for you. Nope. Brother Martin, just give me a little bit. Give me a little bit of yours. Give me a little bit of yours. Give me a little bit. <laughs> While I'm doing, okay, he didn't want to give me none. Of, brother, brother Eric, Brother Eric, give me a little. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Instead of doing all that, should have been going. Go to, to them that sell. Right. <laughs> Come out and go get some oil in your land. Right. Amen. Amen. They were too busy trying to live off the experience of flesh and blood of men, Amen. instead of trying to get themselves straightened out with God. Amen. The foolish said to the wise. Brother, you better be careful what, the, what you're listening to. Right. Come on, church of God. You better stop listening to fools. Amen. Stop listening to fools. Amen. Don't let them, amen, try to get you, amen, to reconsider. Amen. Amen. Re-examine. Yes, Are you sure amen. you did the right thing? Yes, I am. See you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Your worldly, apostate, backslidden self trying to get me to examine myself. Uh, yep. Come on, don't do it, brother. Come on. Amen. I want the spirit. Amen. Amen. I want the spirit. Amen. The foolish started talking. Yes. Said unto the wise, said unto the wise, give us of our oil, for our lamps are gone out. Brother, listen. The message came for all of them. The foolish woke up. They tried to trim their laps, and then they tried to take the Spirit of God from those who had the Spirit of God. Yes. And many today will try to drain the Spirit of God right out of... Listen, listen, listen. It's not possible, first of all, it's not possible for you to give them any of the Spirit of God. It's not. You, you cannot it's not give somebody... Us. I cannot give you the Spirit of God. The Spirit comes from God. That's right. Only God can That's give the right. Spirit, brother. So, so listen, their motives for asking for some Spirit yes. of God from all you want from me is for me to lose the Spirit of God because I can't give That's you nothing. That's right. Amen. I can't give it to you. God's Spirit only comes from God. Yes, sir. God has sent the Holy Spirit. I cannot give you the Spirit Amen. of God. I have nothing to give. Amen. The foolish woke up. But my God, they tried to drain the Spirit yes. of God out of the experiences. True. The Bible says in Proverbs 23, 23, buy the truth sell it not. and sell it not. You may. Yes, sir. Brother, you better deal in truth. Yes. You better deal in truth. What was their counsel? I can't give you any. I cannot. I can't. Go. No to God. them that are under the anointing of the Holy That's Ghost. That's it. <laughs> yep. Don't stay here. Stop. Go. And you know what? I know it was available. Yep. I know it was available. That's right. Because the message came through a messenger. That's right. Amen. They were dealing with, in truth, yes. the, the bridegroom cometh. He was right there. Yeah. The message was, Go to them. Go respond. Respond to the message. Go to the ministry that's dealing in truth. Because that's where you're going to find the Spirit of God. I'm not saying the ministry, the, the man will give it to you. Go where the anointing is. Go right. where the Spirit is. Go where, where the message is. is being proclaimed. Yes. Go where the Spirit is. Because right. where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes. Yes. Go. Go ye. Come out. Right. Go ye out. 
Respond to the message. Right. Amen. And, and get it for yourselves. Respond the right way. Don't just respond. And brother, that should be your counsel to anybody. Yes, sir. Look, I, I don't have anything to give you. Yep. You got to come out. Amen. I, I, that's all I can tell you. You, you got to come out. I cannot give you anything while you're down there. Nope. Go out. You, got, you, you just got to come out. You got to get it for yourself. You got to experience it. You got to buy it. You got to purchase it for yourself. You're going to have right. to pay through some relationship. You're going to have to lose some sentiment. Brother, you're just going to have to sell out and get it for yourself. Amen. That's it. Amen. The ministry is, all, is depicted as merchants. Yes. That's we know right. that when we study Babylon, the merchants of the earth. I'm right. not going to touch all that tonight. Yep. But the true ministry is also called merchants. That's right. In Proverbs 31, he's talking about a virtuous woman. The church is a virtuous woman. Yeah. Yep. Amen. She is like the merchant's ships. Yes. Why? She bringeth her food from afar. She goes up into the heavenly country. Amen. And gets some food from God and brings it down to the people, to the children. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Go to them that are getting something from heaven. Amen. That are dealing in truth, not in deceit. Right. Not in deception. Amen. Matthew 13, 45, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man. Yep. What's he doing? Seeking goodly pearls. Yes. What are pearls? Truth. Truth. One. Pearls are truth. Yep. He's dealing in truth. Merchant men in the kingdom of heaven, they seek out truth and they deal in truth. Yes. The ministry was right there preaching, the bridegroom cometh. Yep. They were dealing in truth. That was true. The bridegroom was on his way. Yes. And instead of trying... To get people to don't leave and stay around here and stay here and die. That's what you want me to do. Yeah. Just like you. That's what they're preaching. Well, I feel like you could be a positive influence. Right. Uh, you could be an asset. Uh, you can help us. No. What's going to happen is I'm going to, I can't give you the spirit. I can't, I can't impart the spirit to you. So what's going to happen is I'm going to lose the spirit of God and I'm going to die just like you. Amen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Amen. When God sends a message, He sends it by a ministry. Yes. When God sends truth, He sends it by a ministry. Amen. Go to them that sell. What's He saying? Go where the truth is. That's it. Go where the Spirit of God is. Amen. And by the time they got done fooling around, yep. by the time they realized, yep. you know, this is Babylon. You know, the Spirit of God isn't here. You know, maybe now I am ready to make some adjustments. The message yeah. passed them by. True. That's true. While they finally decided to make a move, mm -hmm. it was too little, yep. too late. Yeah. Oh, they went to buy. You don't come to the truth on your terms. No, sir. Amen. Nope. You don't respond when you want to. No, sir. God doesn't wait for you. When he sends the word of God, I call that is when. He expects a response. Yes, sir. And if you, as we even preached this morning, but if you don't respond when he calls, that's it. It'll pass you by. That's right. Listen to me. Now, we're almost done. You hang with me just another minute or two. In Noah's day, the rains came. Yes. The water did burst up out of the earth, and all those people woke up. Oh, they believe the message. Yes. Oh, brother Noah, that was a God. Oh, brother Noah, we believe it. We repent. We believe. We repent. We're willing to do anything. The door was shut. Already shut. Yep. God shut yes. the door. I always imagine there might have been some claw marks on that ark. Oh, yeah. My God, people trying to bang on the ark to let us in. Noah, let us in. Yes. 
but they didn't respond yep. when Noah preached Too late. Yeah. under the Spirit of Christ. Lord. We're in that hour right now, church. Yes, sir. We're in that hour right now. Yes, sir. Everybody's going to really wake up one day and realize yes. the message was right. That's right. The Amen. problem is, for many, it'll be too little too late. That's the problem. Yeah. What are you going to do mm -hmm. with the midnight cry? Yes. Afterward, the virgins came. Mm -hmm. Lord, open to us. So I know you're not. Jesus Christ is the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not getting into the Father's house no. if that door is shut. No, sir. Tonight, the door is open. Yes. There's an open door. Jesus said, the spirit and the bride say, Amen. Come. Come. Whosoever will. Yes. Let him come and drink freely. But there's coming a day. Mm -hmm. There'll be no more cry. True. It'll be past the midnight cry. There will be no more messages for the church. Amen. There will be no more opportunities. And the door will be shut. Yes, sir. You can knock. You can be willing as you want to. You cry. You but listen to me, when the Spirit want. of God passes you by, yeah. the door closes. Yes. I'm thankful tonight that the cry is going forth. Amen. I'm thankful that God is having mercy Amen. and is awakening folks. But I also realize even in my spirit tonight the great seriousness mm -hmm. of the hour in which we live. True. That with a cry comes responsibility. Mm -hmm. You're all responsible tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You may have heard the cry. You may have responded to the cry. And you may still end up lost if you refuse to walk in the light of the Holy Ghost as he gives it. There's some that have come through these doors and they're going to go through these doors. They were awakened, but they didn't respond in an appropriate way to the voice of God. When God sends the message, he's faithful to do it. But then, what will you do with the midnight cry? Shall we stand? Let's sing a verse or two of song if any would like to pray. What are we singing? Three fifty nine. For you, if you, you may know it. If you do, please help us out. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. You need to pray tonight. The altar is here. Say, Brother Nathan, I don't think this message really uh, identified anything in particular in my life. What I'm asking you tonight is, are you, are you walking in the Spirit? Are you following the Spirit of God? Are you, are you obeying the checks, the reminders? The warnings of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Shall we sing?
with oh God they trust in the future the form to supply their weight soon to find their lambs are all dry my my what a song what a song pray. We are in some consequential times. We are in some consequential times. 